Okay, so uh, continuing with the third person controller tutorial, we're going to uh, add a speed adjust to the controller. I'm also going to make it so the camera moves uh, with the player. Um, so uh, first, just to talk about it, uh, if uh, let me erase all this. So right now we are getting um, we have our oops we have our character and right now we are getting a movement direction. So um, if the player, if this is our character, and the player presses the right arrow, we're creating uh, a vector 3, which points in this direction. Um, and then, um, basically what's happening is every frame, uh, the so we'll say this is, um, so since this is the right arrow, we're moving 0 in the forward and back direction, and 1 in the right direction. So every frame, the character is moving uh, 1 length okay so basically what we want to do is we want to break this um, first we want to break this um, one length into um, frames okay so that'll give us a smooth move so um, each frame we want the character to move a consistent amount so that means after one second the character will always have moved um, the same amount okay so in order to do that we're going to use a uh, we're going to access a, um, a a class called time, and we're going to get a property from it called delta time. And what time dot delta time is is it's the amount of time since the last frame. So if our character is moving every frame, okay, um, we want after one second we want our character to have moved this distance, even if there's a lag. Um, even if there's lag, we want our character to keep moving smoothly. Um, we don't want the speed of our computer to affect uh, how quickly our character moves. So um, to do that, uh, let's go into Unity, uh, open up our scripts folder, open up our third-person controller script, and this is just going to be a simple, a simple adjustment. Um, we're going to say, uh, um, right before we move, we're going to say move direction equals movement direction times time dot delta time okay so that's going to make sure that our character moves smooth so time dot delta time is a really small value all right so um so if we go to unity our our character is going to have slowed significantly okay so see now i'm holding the left arrow and they're barely barely crawling um so that's better it's better than zipping around and, and it's hard to tell but the character is uh moving smoothly um, so, um, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to lengthen, um, we want to be able to lengthen how much, how long each step, each frame the character will move. We want to change the length of this direction here. So what we're going to do is, um, and, um, in our, in our script, so I went back to mono develop is in our script, um, uh, and I want to do it up here. Um, oops, so was that a comment? So um, multiply the movement direction times the amount of time that has passed since the last frame to keep our movement smooth, OK? Um, so what I want to do uh, next is, uh, or so after we um, get our movement direction here, we're going to take our movement direction. We want to set it to movement direction times uh, a speed. Okay. So if we assign this, if we set this to five, now our character is going to go five times as fast. So if I go Unity. Now our character, and uh, it's um, it's going to be mathematically certain that our character is now moving five times as fast. Uh, but say that's a little a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow. 
we don't want to have to come back into the code and change this all the time, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new property, a public float walk speed, okay? And so um, and we'll even set that up here equal to five. And so what walk speed is going to do is walk speed is going to uh, since it's public, if we go back to Unity, we click on our player, we look at the third person controller script, it's going to allow us to change the speed uh, out here in Unity. So then we don't have to go back to our code every time we want to test a different speed. Um, so uh, the last thing we have to do is we can't use this 5. It doesn't know to multiply it by walk speed, so we have to change that 5 to walk speed. So now we are multiplying the movement direction vector by walk speed, okay? Um, and so what that means is basically we're just getting a, uh, so if, if, if our movement is 0, 1, uh, when we multiply it by walk speed, so say uh, walk speed is 5, or we'll just say walk speed is 2, we're going to multiply 0 by 2, so we're going to get 0, and 1 by 2, so we're going to get 2. So it's going to, it's going to go, uh, twice as far um, per second, okay? Um, so that's what we're doing there. We're getting this twice as long direction, and so that this character in one second is going to move this far instead of just moving this far, okay? So that's um, what walk speed is done. Now, um, so we're done with our script for now. So I'm going to close mono, mono develop, and um, I'm going to go back to Unity. So now we want our camera to um, follow our character around. And we're going to do that using um, uh, this concept called parenting. Okay? And so parenting is means that we take one object and we um, assign it as the child of another object. So we take um, so say we take our we take our character and then we take the camera and we um, set it as a child to this character. And so what that means is now, uh, if we move the character, so say we move the character, you know, two to the right, the camera is also going to move two to the right. Okay. What it also what it means is the camera's um, zero axes. So um, say in the world, this is um, zero, 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 and the player is at uh, negative five, uh, zero, zero, and the camera is at negative seven, three, zero, that's three up. Um, uh, now the camera is actually going to be at negative two, three, zero, and that's because um, this is now at zero, so it's, it's actually um, negative five plus negative two back. Um, anyway, um, that'll become more clear. But so let's go into Unity. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the main camera and the way that we child the main camera to the player is we just drag it onto the player. And so now you'll notice, um, so you'll notice, uh, well, so the player is at 0, 1.10. 0. So, and the camera is at 0, 1, negative 10. So if we move the camera to the player, oops, onto the player, so we drag it onto the player and now we get this little, um, triangle, which means the player is a parent, and here are its children. Uh, so now um, the camera is at negative 0.1, and if we add that to player 1.1, that means that the camera is at 1. So um, um, so now now that it's a child, what we can do is we can move the camera, and you can see a little preview here, to set up what we want our shot to look like. So I'm going to move it up a little, move it closer, and I'm going to click rotate and grab this red um, this red angle and point it down a little bit. So now when we hit play, we move our character. You can well, it's hard to tell, but the camera now follows our character. Okay. So even if we go off the edge, oh, uh, notice no gravity. We're gonna do that in the next tutorial. Um, but the camera is now locked to the player, um, which is great. Um, so yeah, so that's childing. Um, just as another example, um, or a, a 
uh, another example, if we create a cube and we move it over here, we make it kind of big, and then we create a sphere, okay, a sphere and we just make it kind of big, move it over here and above the cube. And if I try out the sphere to the cube, click on the cube, and I move the cube, you can see the sphere moves where it goes. Now the sphere can still move independently, um, and we can assign where it goes, but then when we go back to the cube, it moves all its children with it, okay? Another really helpful thing is, say you want this sphere to be exactly where this cube is, you can, um, so you want the sphere to be exactly where the cube is. So if I set it to zero, it's positioned to zero, zero, and zero, it moves it to the center of the world. Um, but if I child it to this cube and set it to zero, zero, and zero, it is now exactly where the cube is. So if I make the cube invisible, you can see that the sphere is exactly where the cube is. If I can move that up, turn the cube's visuals back on, and there it child it. Um, so I'm going to delete that. But um, that is how our camera is working. And now, um, also, we can adjust our speed. So if I make this 100, which is ridiculous, I hit play, I move, you can see I'm zooming around. And I can even edit this in play mode. So if I take it back down to 1, I can test that out. Moving at a snail's pace. And 10. Until like 10. That feels snappy. Um, but notice if I hit play, it's going to reset it to what it was before, 100. So in order to uh, now save that value, I just change it to 10, uh, not in play mode. Um, so I'm going to save my scene. It's Control S. Check my folders here. And um, we will come back in a moment.